Three, two, one, jump! Hey. <laughs> Described by his family as a joyful and happy little boy who had his whole life ahead of him, four-year-old Sheldon died in his mum's arms on Monday morning. They were trying to beat his heart, trying to get his pulse back. The nurse said, I can't feel the pulse. Um, they were still doing it. And they were like, I'm sorry, he's gone. Um, he has gone. These photos were taken of Sheldon on Saturday night as he was treated at Sunderland Royal Hospital for what his family were told was a serious viral infection. The next day, before blood test results had come back, he was sent home, but deteriorated quickly. He was in, like, so much pain, really pain. Like, you just couldn't move him. Every little, like, movement I'd done, he would scream, or he would say, like, Mum, my back, my back, or his arm, or his leg. Like, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Katrina took Sheldon back to hospital the following morning. His family say they were told he had sepsis. He was put on life support, but suffered a fatal cardiac arrest. Sheldon's family say they were told his blood test results showing something was wrong had come back on the Sunday night after he'd been discharged. They say they were told that doctors had tried to contact them, but couldn't get through to their number so he could be readmitted. The family now want to know why more wasn't done to get Sheldon back to hospital as a matter of urgency. We know it won't bring Sheldon back. I mean, he would never be gone in our heart. It won't bring him back, but we do want justice for Sheldon. It's the least he deserves. He deserves the world. It's all we can do now, isn't it, really? And just, they need to be held responsible for what they've done because she has lost everything now. In a statement, the hospital said, we offer our heartfelt condolences to Sheldon's family for their tragic loss and are offering all the support we can to his loved ones at this very sad and difficult time. Due to patient confidentiality, we are unable to discuss details of Sheldon's treatment. However, we can confirm that we have already started our robust internal review process so that we can fully understand the circumstances around his care. A coroner will now begin an investigation into Sheldon's death. The hospital say they will cooperate fully. For Sheldon's family, they're now preparing for a Christmas without their little boy. Katie Cole, ITV News, Houghtonley Spring.